This video is going to give you a quick overview of your Pathfinder. Pathfinder automatically uses the fastest and most efficient route for every movement. Obstacles are detected and the arms move around them. That's why it's very important that the work table in Fluent Control represents the real work table. Here, the RGA is traveling in free space between the active carrier's hooks. But when a plate is gripped, it moves above to avoid a collision. So how does Pathfinder actually work? Any object, such as the instrument frame, arms, work table, carriers, labware, and even tools such as the robotic gripper arm fingers, have a so-called bounding box. They define the boundaries of the object. You may have noticed them as transparent blue boxes around the objects on the work table editor. Basically, Pathfinder is preventing the arms from driving into bounding boxes. Movements that drive into bounding boxes to grip or release labware are controlled by the robotic gripper arm vectors. The Pathfinder automatically controls the part of the movement in between the safe position of the source carrier and the safe position of the target carrier. Each safe position must be outside of the bounding box. The vector, as defined in the carrier, controls the first movement of the arm from the vector's safe position into the bounding box towards the vector's end position, where it would grip a plate and move back to the safe position. From the safe position, Pathfinder then takes control and moves the arm automatically to the next safe position of the target carrier. Here again, the vector of the target carrier takes the arm from the safe position to the end position, releasing the plate and moving back to the safe position. This is essentially how the movement of a robotic gripper arm transfer labware command works. With regard to the flexible channel arm, the safe position corresponds to the Z travel height of the labware. It must again be located outside of the bounding box. Tip movements into the labware are then controlled by the pipetting command until the tips retract and move up to Z travel again. At that point, Pathfinder takes back control of the movement and continues traveling to the next position. So there you have it, a quick overview of how Pathfinder actually works. We hope it's been helpful.